what's up youtube i'm reporting live from my bathroom and as you can see from the title above this is my high maintenance bitch body care routine i got on my bonnet and my robe so let's get into this routine so first and foremost we are going to start the mood by lighting this nice lavender and sage candle i don't know about y'all but i always go to tj maxx ross you know those type of places for some really good high-end luxury candles and just lighting candles while i do my body care routine just really you know s slows me down and just kind of relaxes me especially this lavender and sage next i'm going into spotify and i'm just going to also set the mood by going into my you don't know nothing about this old school playlist if you like old school music, definitely be sure to check out the link in my bio because I will link my playlist. Today was one of those days I had to shoot a few different videos. So I'm just going in right now with an oil cleanser to deeply, you know, pre-cleanse my face before I go in and follow up with this um, gentle milky cleanser. And after I tone my skin, I'm just going to rehydrate it. And right now, this is not dermaplaning, y'all. I'm just going in with a razor that I disinfected with some alcohol to just get rid of any unnecessary, unwanted hair on my face. I get really, really hairy on the sides of my face. And y'all, I do get a mustache. So basically, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to shave the sides of my face as well as my mustache. But like I mentioned, this is not dermaplaning. If I want a dermaplan, I will go to an esthetician. I just don't want a mustache and I don't really want serious sideburns on the side of my head, I mean the side of my face. And this is all the hair that was um, taken off. And then I just took put on a nice um, hydrating like sleeping mask and I'm just gonna go in with a steamer to just deeply hydrate my skin. I have very oily skin, so sometimes that basically means that my skin is pretty dry. So I just wanna ensure that my skin is getting as much hydration as possible. All right, y'all, so this is the fun part of today's video. I am going to be waxing. I got this waxing kit from Amazon. I will link everything in the description box below. As you all can see, my legs are hairy. <laughs> I have not shaved my legs, I would say, since probably December. I don't really like to shave my legs that much because as you can see, I also have strawberry legs. And what this means is that the pores on my legs are typically enlarged or like dead skin cells and oil or bacteria is probably like trapped inside of those follicles but I really think this is from like years ago when I first started shaving I probably wasn't using shaving cream I wasn't exfoliating my skin I just didn't want hairy legs as a little girl but now y'all I don't care <laughs> so basically yeah, I'm just going in and I'm waxing my legs just because waxing you get longer results like over time you know it takes longer for the hair to grow back and over time the hair does kind of thin out so that's basically what i'm doing here i just wanted to shave my legs and i mean wax my legs and as y'all can see it's a lot of hair i am not an esthetician i just am a girl with a waxing pot at the house <laughs> but i just wanted to show you all my routine and um basically it's just really important when you do wax your legs um i personally didn't shower until like that next day like the next morning just because your skin can tend to be a little bit more tender and sore um after you you wax so it is important that you give your time your skin some time to like you know bounce back after you wax so I didn't want to just jump in the shower and just started my exfoliating process right after I did my waxing so basically yeah, I just kind of did this routine the waxing part at nighttime and then I woke up the next morning and I did the rest of my routine and my exfoliation but I just want to show you all how I did my wax you lay it down I let it cool and then you like pat it just to make sure that it's cool and then I used the wooden stick and I started to like you know um, stick it on the ends of where I play, laid the wax and started to pull up and then you just got, you're going to just pull it up and then I like to just put my hand down um, so that my skin is not in super shock but y'all the underarms was difficult <laughs> I'm not even going to sit here and flex doing the underarms was painful like my mom had to rip a piece because I was like this is painful so on my other underarm I'm gonna be real with y'all I did not wax it as good as I could have just because it was a lot of pain I feel like when your hair is thinner in some areas it can be a little bit more difficult but for this reason I think just the underarms was a little bit more difficult because of like me trying to actually do it myself but yeah so I just sprayed um a pre-wax treatment and then an after wax treatment on my underarms y'all it's time for the shower time I'm so excited to show you all what I've been using on my skin and what I've been loving. I got some eucalyptus hanging in there, y'all. Eucalyptus is going to really kind of give off that great aromatherapy and it's going to relax you when you're in the shower. Today, I'm going to go in with Necessaires Body Wash. This is their eucalyptus one. I'm going to use that as my first like treatment to like, you know, cleanse my body. Then I'm going to follow up with this OGX Sea Kelp and Hyaluronic Acid um, Body Scrub. And this is basically just for me to get my exfoliation process going on on my entire body 
I am going in with this African like sponge cloth. It's also called like a sapo. But y'all, I really love using these to like really deeply cleanse my body as well as exfoliate the body. It doesn't harbor bacteria like a traditional loofah and it's not gonna be as like rough on the skin as a like rag would, but it's definitely gonna help to deeply cleanse and exfoliate dead skin. So anywhere that you are going to shave or that you, you know, have wax, you wanna ensure that you are going to deeply exfoliate the skin. So I'm gonna just be following up with Tree Hut's Coco Colada Shea and Sugar Scrub on my underarms as well as my legs, just to ensure that, um, or just to prevent that I don't get, you know, ingrown hairs or any irritation from waxing. And I did follow up with the exfoliation while also using the Thapo, just because when I tell you y'all skin is gonna feel so good when you use this like you just need to throw the loofahs away this is gonna make your skin feel so polished exfoliated and really just scrub away any dirt debris excess whatever so now i'm gonna go in with bell d moroccan body wax by 54 thrones as y'all can see it has this really like jelly type consistency and i'm using this at the end of my body care routine because this is such a it's a body polish so it's gonna ensure that my skin is nice and soothed and cleansed and exfoliated without really feeling my like my skin is gonna be stripped or dry afterwards all right, so after my shower, while my skin is still damp, I'm going to start my lotioning moisturizing routine. But first, let me grab my Paula's Choice Weightless Body 2% BHA treatment. So I love the actual BHA toner that they have to help to eliminate dark marks and hyperpigmentation on my skin. But this treatment is also going to be helping me fight my body hyperpigmentation and acne scarring along my back, my chest, and my arms. I will be uploading um, later on in the month, like my body care routine as far as like how I get rid of acne but for right now I just want to show y'all that this stuff is the truth um, first I'm gonna go in with this Kosas AHA deodorant it has AHAs that's going to naturally kill bacteria in the underarm instead of me going in with like a traditional deodorant that might have aluminum next it's time to moisturize the body I'm going to be using gentles um, whipped body butter this is in the scent vanilla and I'm also going to be pairing it with 54 thrones Monona glow body oil y'all first of all let's talk about how this gentle Body butter will have you smelling like a cookie for like three days if you don't take a shower. Not to say that I know that for sure, but I'm saying the scent is so strong in a, in a nice light cookie way that you, people are going to smell you. It's going to smell really good on the body. You smell really yummy. And I really like to pair it with the Monona Glow Oil from... 54 thrones because it just feels really nice on the skin paired together it's so important that you apply your lotions body butters and creams when your skin is damp because you don't want to lock in dryness you want to lock in moisture on the skin so just ensure that you know you do your lotion care routine when you still have some moisture into the skin okay and just look at how soft and luxurious my legs look i did not wax every little piece of hair off my legs but i am satisfied with how smooth and sexy and soft i feel i promise y'all this pair of lotion and body oil is going to have you feeling moisturized for the days to come now i'm going to be grabbing my Yves Saint Laurent Mon Pelhi perfume yes i had to throw in a french accent but i like to just spray my perfume onto my damp skin it will last way longer but y'all this is the end of the body care routine i hope you all enjoy and i will see you in the next one